Think about this scenario. What if the president of a republic is supporting the restoration of monarchy and what are the chances for success of monarchy's cause? And this leads me to the question. Georgia is a republic, but could it become a monarchy again? I asked you this very question in our YouTube community tab. 45% said that there is a 10 to 30% chance for restoration. 32 thought it had higher chance, with only 24% saying that chances of restoration are less than 10%. Welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to talk about one of the oldest dynasties in Europe, the Bagrationi dynasty of Georgia. With roots set to date back to biblical times, this dynasty has survived centuries of political turmoil and change in Georgia. In this video, we'll talk about the history of the dynasty, the challenges it faced during the Russian and Soviet rule, and the current state of the monarchy in Georgia. The Bagrationi dynasty has a rich history dating back to at least 1000 years. Despite the attempts of the Russian Tsars and the Soviet Union to destroy the national heritage and consciousness, the Georgian people have always cherished their royal heritage. In the short-lived period of independence after the World War I and the renewed independence in 1991, Georgia opted for a republic instead of a monarchy due to the fragmentation of the dynasty into collateral lines and the absence of a clear royal candidate from among the Bagratid diaspora. The fragmentation of the dynasty resulted in a complicated and seemingly impossible dilemma for the future of the monarchy in Georgia. It was not clear who had the strongest hereditary case for leadership of the royal clans. However, powerful forces were at work to address this issue. In a manner similar to General Franco's decision in Spain, where he decided on Prince Juan Carlos as his successor in the restored monarchy, thus bringing to an end the Carlist schism that had lasted for over 100 years. A strong hand was needed in Georgia to resolve the issue and restore the monarchy. The charismatic head of the Georgian Orthodox Church, Patriarch Ilea II, played a significant role in the restoration of the royal dynasty. On October 7, 2007, he gave a sermon in which he stated that the restoration of the royal dynasty was a desirable dream of the Georgian people and called on the populace to prepare for the election of Sion of the Bagrationi dynasty to be educated from the childhood to take the crown. This sermon set the stage for the future of the monarchy's cause in Georgia. The future of the monarchy's cause in Georgia lies in the person of Prince Georgi, born in April 2011 to Prince David Bagrationi Mukhrani and Princess Anna Bagrationi Grunitsky, who are the heirs of the most prominent royal lines. The marriage of the two heirs marked a significant step toward the rationalization of the monarchy and the resolution of the fragmented state of the dynasty. Polls taken in past few years suggest support up to 70% for monarchy in Georgia. Even the president of Georgia herself, Salomi Bzorobichvili, is a monarchist and she voiced her support for the monarchy. However, one should not sleep on laurels. The Monarchist Channel is hoping that monarchists will keep putting the pressure to public and not get monarchy forgotten again. In conclusion, the Bagrationi dynasty is one of the oldest dynasties in Europe, with a rich history that has survived centuries of political turmoil and change. Despite the challenges posed by the fragmentation of the dynasty, the future of the monarchy's cause in Georgia is bright, thanks to the efforts of Patriarch Ilea II and the unification of the most prominent royal lines through the marriage of Prince David and Princess Anna. The future of the monarchy lies in the person of Prince Georgi, and the Georgian people are preparing for the election of a scion of Bagrationi dynasty to take the crown. 
And how about the restoration and status of monarchism in other countries? Check out one of these videos.